Hey guys, Zenko Dev here bringing you a tutorial on how to play a video file from a button in Xco4. And what I made is a simple animation here with a sound of an animation button. And that is what we're going to play by the button. So once you've done your own video, you can go or use mine, you can go to Xcode, go to File, New, New Project. And you want to make a view based application, and we're going to call it Player, Device Family iPhone. Put it on the desktop. And the next part for the frameworks, you're not going to want to, unless you're on building for a real iPhone or iPad Touch, you'll go link binary with libraries and then add the media player framework from here. But we're not going to do that because we're going to run on the simulator and it will have an error if we try and run it from the real iOS framework. You can go to Finder, Go, Computer. Macintosh HD, Developer, Platforms, iPhone Simulator, Developer, SDKs, iPhone Simulator, System, Library, then Frameworks, and then the Media Player dot Framework, and you can drag that into the Frameworks folder. And once you've done that, you want to also drag in the movie that you made or my spot. So. Once you've done that, you want to go to the header file and you want to import the media player framework. So, media player slash media player dot h and open bracket, a bracket and you want to write mp oh, movie player controller come up for you, asterisk video player, semicolon, ns url, asterisk video, video url, semicolon, after next bracket you want to write ib action play movie semicolon. And that's it for the header file, now on to the implementation file, under at implementation player view controller you want to write IB action play movie open um, parentheses and you want to write NS string asterisk URL equals open bracket open bracket NS bundle main bundle close brackets next line path for resource and any string is your movie name, so it's at speech mark, speech marks animation, and then of type is at mov, at, um, speech marks mov, then close brackets, semicolon. Next is MP movie player controller, and asterisk player equals. Open bracket, open bracket, MP movie, player controller, allocate, close brackets. Next line, in it with content URL and the NS URL is open brackets, NS URL, file with URL path, and then it's just URL, close brackets, close brackets, semicolon. And then to play the partial screen so you can zoom in with two fingers, you can also signify it by writing uh, two dashes and the text in the middle of them and doesn't um, go towards any code. So you can write as much as you want there. So to play the partial screen, you want to write in player.view.frame equals cg rect make and the dimensions for the little screen will be 64. This is um, just a one I made, you can change it to whatever you want. 64, 200, 100, 200, 150, and brackets, semicolon, then open brackets, self.view, dot frame, no, self.view, add, subview, and subview is player, dot view, close brackets, semicolon. And then to play the movie itself, small dashes to where you are. Oh. 
the only one right is open brackets player play close bracket semicolon and, and if we go ahead and build we should get no errors now for the playing the video part you want to go to the XIB and find a rounded red button and drag it in the bottom because that's um, here's when the movie's going to play its partial screen and we're just going to write play and if we go ahead and run it as you see no errors oh we also need to link it to the files owner so received actions play touch up inside save it run again now it should work so if we go ahead and play you should see the um, little box animation play so we can also it's play again full screen so that's it that's a wrap so please like comment favor and subscribe on this tutorial how to make a video file play from a button hope you enjoyed this tutorial this is Zenkel Dev and I'm out peace